um, I am very happy to stay here today to share the experience of my association with you about these topics. I apologize in advance overall with the, the interpreters for my bad English, but I hope that we can participate uh, the same. Um, I have, uh, I need to make some premises in my speech. The premises uh, I, I am going to, to explain to you what is our activity about sexual education, but we have to, uh, to clarify some things. I start from the idea that uh, there is a right for sexual expression, even for persons with disability. Uh, sexuality is not a problem, it's a part of our life. The people with uh, intellectual disability have the same needs and the same, the same desire of all the people. And we need to find the, the right words, the right way to accompany uh, this education. Another premise for me, very important, is that uh, uh, we are guided by the principles of maximum autonomy. And so first, uh, the new competencies, and then the reduction of the inappropriate behavior. It means that uh, uh, when I uh, speak with the youngsters, with the adults, uh, I start uh, to express, to, to communicate something about the good sex. Because after we can arrive to uh, speak about, uh, avoid the bad sex. But we need to explain uh, in which way a man and a female, a male and female can stay together in a correct way. And after we, we can speak about the bad way. Another premise is, is that uh, we start from the, um, in this uh, education, taking in mind that sex is biology. And so we have to explain something about uh, how our body uh, is made, but also uh, sex is the awareness of a, your body and that of the other, and history, the, the possibility to make a relation with the other. So when we speak about sexual education, we are not uh, uh, taking a, a lesson of biology, but we are speaking about all these aspects that are very, very important in the life. Uh, we have to take this in mind. Uh, we, we know that everyone has a role in the sexual education. The most important role is that of the family because the, the first steps of the education are in the family. Uh, after we have the educational agency, the school, the association, the, the different courses, but all the people are involved because all the people give message in education. If uh, we are in the school, for example, and the boy, and the boy uh, touches a girl's bottom and uh, the lady uh, turns around and slaps him, it's a sex education intervention. It's a good sex education intervention. On the opposite side, if they uh, go uh, to the baker uh, to, to buy the pizza and after uh, paying, the, the baker asks uh, her uh, a kiss uh, to say thank you, uh, he is doing a bad sex education intervention. And so all the people make intervention. We have to, to be careful uh, about this one. And after we need to, um, to work with the youngster, taking this in mind. Uh, all the experience, all the activity that uh, I am going to tell you uh, start in the project of uh, Italian Association for People with Down Syndrome about uh, autonomy education. We work about this topic since uh, 30 years. And uh, in this project uh, in which we, uh, we, we teach uh, how to use money, how to go around in the city and things like this, uh, we have included also this project about uh, sexual education. This, uh, this part, I, I cannot uh, explain a lot about this part. We need another session for this. But, this part is a, a place where you learn to do things yourself, but to do this, you have to feel great and recognize as such. It means that we work on the two aspects of knowing how to do and knowing how to be. Because you can teach to the people to use money, but if you don't work at the same time about the identity, about the 
consciousness to be uh, a youngster and adults, you cannot continue to use this ability. And so we work always about these two aspects, how to do and how to, how to be. There are some key words in this project uh, that uh, are characteristic of the relation between the educator and the youngster. The relation with the youngster is based on motivation and truth. And this uh, is uh, true if we speak about uh, um, how ask information in the street or also about the sexuality. Because for example, we don't ask it to the people to do nothing if you don't give a, a sense, a motivation for this one. And at the same time, if we don't uh, are in truth, for example, I don't ask it to a boy to buy something if we don't need, for example, the milk because we have already the, the fridge. And at the same time, when we speak about falling in love, if a boy asks to the volunteer, or oh, you are a fantastic lady, do you want to marry me? Uh, she don't answer, you are young, you are uh, young, uh, we have to wait, or things like, like this. Uh, she answered, uh, I am not falling in love. Uh, we can become friends, uh, we can go for a pizza, but uh, I don't marry you also in the future. Another characteristic uh, of our relation is the kid's protagonism. It means that in every situation, we ask to the kid to stay in the center of the situation, but with the responsibility. In a lot of situations, the people with disability is in the center of the situation, but uh, it's very um, uncommon and it's very rare that they have a real responsibility. And so for us, it's, this is very important. Another important thing is that uh, always we consider and recognize they're getting older. And this is uh, uh, through the gesture, through the words, uh, through the context that we live together. And so, for example, if I have a youngster, uh, I don't take him hand by hand because hand by hand in a youngster uh, is a behavior that you do with your uh, your girl, your boys, your uh, uh, your companion in love, your fell in love. Uh, if I take this, uh, I give an incorrect message uh, because really this means that I consider these people like a child and not like a young youngest. In our project, uh, obviously the people are all different and so the paths and the strategies are personalized. We work with a group of peers, a small, very small group of peers, with the young educators that uh, is very important uh, uh, that are different from parents. And so in our project from the autonomy, we maintain the age of the educator uh, at maximum 30 years old. In this project, the people obviously are attracted and fall in love because our project that we, um, we do with adolescents and adults. And the working for the growth of identity, uh, we also reflect uh, about being male and female, and so knowledge, role, relations. So we have started in this condition, in this uh, context, uh, to organize an educational process in uh, sexuality. And uh, in our uh, process, uh, always we have to answer to three questions: what, how, and to what sense uh, does it have? basic knowledge, mode, and attribution of meaning. What we produce, produce a normal program for sex education. It's not a special program. It con the contents are the same of the older people. They, we use some adaption in the style, narrative style, familiar vocabulary, the, the strategies that help people with intellectual disability to understand what we do. We have to take in mind also that kids are not a tabula rasa, and so a lot of activity that we do start asking to the people what they know or things to know about this topic. And our program is a structured program and incidental program at the same time, and now I'm going to explain. 
Obviously, we have uh, uh, to listen the direct and direct signals that came from the youngster to organize the project. And we have to choose objectives, putting in a project is not uh, the same work with uh, 15 years old or with uh, 30 years old people, sharing this with the family. And we have also to choose the effective uh, modes that, uh, for example, are activity in individual groups and gender and mixed, simple language. We use a lot of visuals, realistic materials and uh, appropriate from the age. Um, when I speak about uh, uh, structured education, uh, my idea is uh, overall uh, help the people to understand that it's possible to speak about this topic. Because a lot of time, the people don't, uh, uh, don't think that it's possible to, to speak about the sex. And so we have to, to give the, the right to the sex to discuss, to, to speak together. We propose this activity to our boys and girls. They are free in the participation and we use sometimes individual uh, activity, but uh, a lot of time group activity, monosexual or mixed in progression, depending on the things. Always we start from the curiosity and leave the, the people. In the beginning of each uh, meeting, uh, I asked the people what way they wanted to, to discuss, uh, what are their curiosity. And we start from this uh, to organize the program but in each case, we uh, take in mind uh, what, how, what sense does it in, in the answer. Um, the contents for everybody uh, are this one, because uh, this is the list of a, a, a professor, Velia, that is a, a psychologist uh, uh, that work uh, in, about in, in sexuality. Uh, I've prepared uh, about, uh, in, all the people that um, that need the in adolescence to to be educated, and so are the same contents also for our uh, our youngs, so genital organs, what use, what, how can one experience, what how do they function, what is sexual development, uh, how are genital organs used when uh, one is alone or in couple, what is pleasure, what does me making love mean, uh, how do you make love when. Uh, how does falling in love, courting, uh, how does one be a couple, how does one make or not make babies making love, what needs to be done to not get until uh, by making love. These are the topics. Obviously, when we work with people with intellectual disability, some contents are very reduced, but the topics are the same. Uh, and most important things is the selection or the production of materials of uh, book activity to be uh, useful in work with people with intellectual disability. These are the characteristics of the materials that we have uh, uh, found are the best for these people. Uh, flexibility, simple language, use of stories with disabled and not disabled people as protagonists, images or videos, uh, materials that are pleasing to engaging, uh, adapted to different ages, realistic of progressive difficulty, and uh, overall, not only to say how things are done, but to help uh, to learn, uh, to choose, uh, to express the desire and the discomfort, to help the people to uh, elaborate strategies, not only to use some behavior or other behavior. Uh, in the last two years, IPD has done a, a very, very big project in Italy in uh, 18 cities with 180 participants, uh, in which we have uh, training a lot of educators to work in this project. We have prepared and uh, test an educational path uh, for the participants, for the different group in the in this city. We have worked with the family and also uh, we have created a network on the territories with other uh, professionals that can be helped. 
uh, we have done uh, some specific activity for the couple, overall, uh, uh, some couple holidays in which uh, we have proposed uh, some experience to the people to understand what means to stay in couples. Uh, we, we have organized uh, holidays of one week in a, in a camping in which every couple have uh, his house, uh, uh, have his intimacy, uh, they have to organize the, their house, uh, they have uh, some uh, moment of discussion with other couple, and they grow in the uh, consciousness of uh, to be a couple and to project uh, in the future. We have produced a docu film and uh, some uh, guidelines that uh, we, uh, we publish in the end of the year. In this part that we have uh, organized and tested in this project, uh, uh, we include uh, uh, 11 teaching units and the visit with uh, uh, basic activities uh, and uh, sometimes other extension uh, according with the team and with the group. Uh, in each group, uh, the educator can choose uh, to propose uh, the entire itinerary on only part uh, according with the age and the preparation of the participant. Sometimes we work in single uh, or in single sex group, sometimes in mixed, sometimes with the couple. And uh, there is a list of the topics that we have uh, prepared and discussed with them. We have started from the motion, after we have discussed about the rights, how men and women are made, the gynecologist and neurologist, love and friendship, courtship, relationship between boys and girls, pleasure, touching and detaching, how to make love, how babies are born and how to avoid it, the couple, marriage and living together, Pregnancy, what, which means being a parent, harassment, privacy, and social. As you see, the bad the sex is the last one. Uh, and we, uh, we discover how uh, live in a correct way uh, their sexuality. Uh, each activity is very, uh, or is very concrete, is very interactive with the people. To give you an example, uh, I have taken here uh, something about the activity love of friendship. Uh, we give to the, to the members of the small group uh, voting paddle with an earth, that means uh, love, and with a smile, that means uh, friendship. We show some videos, some, some photos and slides, and we have a two poster with the name love and friendship, and we discuss each photo what this photo is. They have to vote in the beginning and after I ask to the members, why have you voted uh, uh, love or friendship? And uh, in, we put some sentences in the poster to discover what means to be in love, what means to be friend. And we have a selected photo very different with group, with uh, behavior different, with people with intellectual disability and not with uh, uh, heterosexual and homosexuality, uh, age, different age to discover the different uh, also in this one. People in a uh, smiling and, and people that are in a bad uh, feeling because we have discussed also about this uh, different aspect, for example, in a couple. And uh, this is an example of an activity that we have done with them that is very, very useful to discuss it, to, to understand the difference of the different situations. Uh, this uh, unit uh, are part of our structure education, specific moments in which we discuss with them about the specific topics, they can uh, carry all, all the questions that they want. But uh, on the other side, in our project, but also in the daily life of the people, there is the incidental education. That means uh, we, we do uh, gestures, we, uh, we interview in, uh, in behaviors, uh, we accept the uh, question of the people, and in this way, we, uh, we help them. For example, 
uh, is very important the, the way in which the other people, the adults that is around, uh, behave with them. If I give a lot of kisses, uh, the people don't understand what is the sense of a kiss. If the mommy give a kiss on the on the mouth, is a, a strange kiss, and so uh, I have to stay to take care of this one. Or, for example, if uh, I stay with the group and we are cooking, and uh, a couple started to kiss, I don't say, "Oh, you cannot kiss here," because. Uh, the problem is the context, is the moment. And so I say, I am very happy that you are falling in love and you can obviously kiss, but not in this moment because we are cooking now and after you can do what you want. And so we help them to, uh, to adapt to the, the behavior, to the context, to the relationship. And uh, we, we make this in an indirective, in an incidental way or we can uh, discuss this uh, in a structural way. Um, obviously, the informal education question us every day, and we have to take this in mind. Many messages are transmitted through our attitudes. And uh, if we are a group of professionals, it's important, or also if I, have, uh, I am in the family with the other member of the family, it's very important to confront our beliefs and direction to find the common behavior. It's very, very important that if the activity is in an association, in a group, uh, we, uh, we agree with the family about this, this topic and the, the objective that we want to discuss. I give you an example of another resource that we use, we have prepared to help the people. This is a book that now is in Italian, Russian and Spanish. Uh, it's a book written in easy reading, in a very easy language with some characteristics to be used directly by the youngsters. But it's very useful also for the educators to find the, the correct word, the, the, the useful word to speak with them. I give you an idea of this book. For example, in this book, the topic are what men and women look like, uh, making love, touching and being touched, when and with, uh, whom, love and friendship, relationship between boys and girls, couples and marriage, and, uh, and finally, Barbara and David's question, because in the book there are two boys that guide the and the, the people that uh, use this book. Uh, each topic is uh, discussed in the book with a different aspect. Uh, obviously, we use uh, a, a very simple language, a lot of visuals. Um, there are a, a lot of uh, technical aspects uh, in the in reading uh, to, to be clear. Sometimes uh, uh, we uh, explain a topic. Uh, this is about the, the relationship about making love, for example. Uh, sometimes uh, we, we offer some uh, specific information at the end of the chapter. Sometimes we use a story, video story to follow and after to give uh, them something to reflect. Or sometimes we propose some situation in which they have to, uh, to make choose. Do you remember that I discussed about the, the, the importance to give a, a, um, opportunity to make choose? And so, for example, this is about touching and be touched. And there are a, a very small story in which the people have to decide if they agree or not agree with this behavior. Uh, and at the end of the chapter, there is the explanation of, of this one. Uh, in the video story, in the book story uh, with visual about uh, other topics, in, at the end, uh, you have a synthesis that helps you to uh, verify if your idea uh, have a, um, are correct or not, uh, what are the aspects that you have to take in mind, for example. This is about love and friendship uh, in which they have uh, to select. 
this is another uh, video story in which uh, they have to discuss this behavior between youngsters, between uh, girls and boys, is correct or not. And this is a, um, a storyboard of the couple and uh, a discussion about the marriage. Um, this was a book for the youngsters. Now we are publishing a new book in December uh, for educators with all the uh, activity that we have tested in the project that I have uh, told you before. Uh, I wanted to, I am going to the conclusion. Uh, I have to give some suggestion for parents that is important. When we speak about uh, sexuality, at the center of this topic is the recognition that they are no longer children. If we look to the youngsters like a child, uh, it's impossible for me to understand that a behavior is a normal behavior. And every behavior is wrong. Every behavior of the youngster, every behavior of the other. Another aspect that we have to take in mind is that we have to take care of the promiscuity. For example, if we have two sons that are teenage of different sex, we cannot put in the same room because this is a problem sometimes in, in the moment of adolescence, in the, in the moment in which the desire is very, very high. Uh, the problem of the kisses in the family is important. I cannot be, I, I remember once in, in my group, there was a boy that came to me and say that uh, he is uh, falling in love with the mother. And uh, she is the, uh, the, the companion in the couple. And why? Uh, but he uh, kiss every day the mother on the, on the mouth. Uh, the parents are divorced and uh, he stay in the same uh, bed with the mother. And so the, the signs are very confusing for them. So it's very, very important. For example, also in the use of the bathroom is very important. Don't have a common use of the bathroom in adolescence because obviously is the moment of the privacy of the intimacy. Uh, and if we need to help uh, a person in, uh, in personal autonomy is better that uh, interview the, the parent uh, of the same sex. Another aspect very important for the parents is to speak explicitly and trustfully. For example, about the possibility to, to, to marriage. I have met a lot of parents that say, oh, you are young, wait, wait, wait. And once a lady come to me and say, please explain me what is the age to be married? Because every time the people move this age. When I discuss about this with this lady, I discuss not of the age, but what we need to marry another people. I need a person that agree with me. I need to be able to do something uh, in to, to have a house to clean, to cook and things. I need to have an house. I, to, I need to have a, a work or a job or money and things like this. Because in the beginning, uh, all is uh, um, not clear. There is a lot of fantasy. And in the beginning, when you ask it to a boy or girl, uh, uh, what needs to, to be married, and they say the church, the, the restaurant, uh, the, the dress, or things like this. We have to help them uh, in, to understand the, the things starting by truth. And another aspect very important is the support of the couple, because uh, uh, obviously they need a support, but we have to, uh, to, to take care to the balance. Because uh, one mother once told me that it's important to help, but not too much. Because you can uh, help your, your son or, or his daughters, but you don't have to substitute. And so, for example, in a lot of uh, couples that I know, 
the the parents have decided to put a, a king bed in the house of him and her. And uh, they, they, the couples, uh, for example, live in the weekend in the beginning, one weekend in the house of her, uh, of him, and they start with the confidence. Uh, but obviously, you have to decide this couple by couple. Uh, to conclude, uh, becoming an adult is also growing up in the knowledge that you are male and female. And so we have to to give space to this. And giving space to this means giving space to the possible relationship. Uh, in my association, we have uh, uh, some couples uh, and it was possible because uh, obviously we have given them uh, the opportunity to meet and to stay together in uh, small holidays of group, uh, couple holidays and things like this. And in collaboration with the family, we have given real space for them. Uh, obviously, we have to welcome the desire to know, to express feelings and desire, and to act always, always in a climate of reality. I have put in my conclusion some, uh, um, some links to some videos, if you can uh, notice this one, or if you cannot, uh, you can go directly in the YouTube channel of IPD and you find it. This is a video uh, that we have done with San Valentino in which there are a lot of expression of what the, the people with Down syndrome uh, think about couple. Uh, there is a, a video that is uh, a proposal of sentimenti, something about feelings uh, with English subtitle that we have done 20 years ago with the first experience of couple. Marta and Mauro is a video this in Italian, uh, that uh, is an interview to the first couple uh, of uh, two people with Down syndrome that married in Rome seven years ago, and they discuss about their experience. And the last one, uh, this is the, the poster, Come una vera coppia, I have put the English subtitle yesterday to offer you the possibility to follow is the, the last film, the last movie that we have done after the project uh, uh, that I have told you about uh, uh, our work to accompany people with uh, intellectual with Down syndrome in, uh, in sexual education and, and also the work that we have done with the couple. Thank you. If we have some uh, question, we can discuss now. Uh, thanks a lot, Anna, for your presentation. I will uh, try maybe to put in the chat uh, these links, what you uh, what you presented, or maybe it will be easier for you that you put, uh, because you have a PowerPoint version, if you could put in the chat a uh, link uh, for these uh, old videos. Uh, we have uh, some one question at the moment. Uh, it's a question from Tanya from Ukraine. How long is the full program? Is it a once a week lessons or intensive course? Uh, the, the program that I have told you was a long program because I have 11 meeting and uh, we have done in uh, one hour and a half, one, uh, one year and a half. The people meet uh, about one, in month and uh, the, the vacation was uh, one week but it's important that the different meeting about the different topic uh, are not all concentrated but uh, during uh, one year because the people uh, and discuss the topic uh, think to this topic uh, uh, come back uh, uh, in the next meeting uh, to discuss this one and things like this Obviously, uh, that uh, la, the most part of these people are included also in our, in other, in our program uh, for um, autonomy. And so it happens that uh, uh, during another meeting in which they are, for example, understanding uh, to count money, uh, come a question to the educator and the educator answer. But the specific uh, in meeting about sexual education is in our program one per month or one for every three weeks. Thank you, Anna. 
Uh, we don't have a, at the moment some more questions uh, for you. Uh, please be open and maybe start with the questions. Okay, now maybe we will have some some new. Okay, uh, we have now we have one thanks uh, from Croatia uh, for this presentation uh, from our um, our association in Croatia uh, about all a person with the disabilities. So congratulations, and this is a very nice uh, to uh, to. Uh, to see how we could uh, involve all persons with disabilities and to be equal. Uh, thanks, Maritza. Uh, then, okay, uh, Gillian. Uh -huh. Okay, um, Maritza from Croatia asking um, how they are experienced from the parents, what they said, Anna, about this school program. Anna, the, the, the parents. Uh... Uh, obviously, they are involved since the beginning to uh, to the decision to make this project. Obviously, so the people that participate uh, in the beginning of the project, we have done a meeting with the parents. We have uh, explained what are the objective of this project, what are the activity that we are going to do with the youngsters, and uh, during the project. Uh, uh, two, three times we have met the parents uh, in the group and sometimes uh, also alone if they want. For the people that are in couple that uh, participated to the couple vacation, we have organized uh, uh, that are couples that came from different city of Italy, not uh, of the same city. We have organized before the vacation a, a meeting on Zoom with me and my educator to discuss what uh, uh, are, what we are going to do in this vacation what is the sense of this opportunity and also what would be the feedback when they go, go back to to house because obviously these couples are uh, thinking to the future to the possibility to go out uh, from the house and to live uh, uh, as couple in a different way or things like this. In our experience, uh, we have uh, already some couples that live uh, together. Marta and Mauro, the, the, the couples of the movie, is a couple that live alone in, a, in an apartment. But we have also other couples that live in a small group of people, six people that live together, they have uh, their room, obviously, but they share the apartment with other people. Obviously, that uh, in this case, uh, it depends from the level of autonomy of the people and from the level of support that we can organize uh, in each situation. I wanted to add uh, another information uh, that is not uh, about this one, about the fertility and the, the, the possibility for the people with Down syndrome to to have a, a child. Obviously that we discuss with the youngsters about this topic, but the most part of male with Down syndrome are sterile. Uh, in reality, we have, uh, because in literature there are only three uh, cases, but uh, we have found other situation uh, of uh, fertility, and so we are starting uh, in a new research in Italy to verify this uh, this situation because the study in the past uh, are very few, but is a very important topic. And so normally, when I have uh, a couple that have a, a sexual activity, I suggest to the parents to verify if. Uh, they are fertile or not, they are sterile or not, and in case uh, to decide if they have to use uh, some needles of contraceptive. Okay, thanks, Anna. Uh, now we have uh, one uh, new question. Now we have a lot of questions. Thanks a lot for to everybody. Okay, one from Slovenia, from Irena. It's what if a person with Down syndrome falls in love with a person without any disabilities? Uh, obviously, it happens, and uh, I I think uh, 
I say always that we cannot uh, uh, we cannot decide if uh, is real or not because love is uh, incredible and so all is happening. Obviously, normally is not so common that is a, a real relation. Uh, it happens a lot of times that one uh, person with uh, Down syndrome or intellectual disability falling in love of a person without uh, disability, but uh, there is not a relation, it's not a, there is not a response from the other one. Uh, sometimes it happens also with actors, with people, I, I say, the, the fantastic love. Uh, obviously, that in this case you have it to help the people to understand what is the real relation and what is not. I ask always, uh, in this case, to the boys and girls, uh, uh, but you are real in love. Uh, you you go out together. Uh, what is the the last uh, activity that you have done together? Um, there was a, an opportunity to stay along for a pizza or things like this. Sometimes uh, it happens also that this situation starts because the other people is not clear in the relation. And so, for example, is uh, is nice with the people with Down syndrome, but is not falling in love. And so you have to help. Obviously, it's not impossible. I think that is uh, real uh, difficult to find uh, a couple between a person with uh, in disability, intellectual disability and without a person with intellectual disability because normally a couple uh, grow in a, in, a, in, in a peer relation and uh, it's the same for us, uh, it's the same for us when we, we think to our uh, experience, uh, the people that we have choose in our life uh, where people mm, that uh, offer us the possibility to share a similar content, a similar passion, and so it's the same for them. Uh, thanks, Anna, for this answer. We have another uh, question from Tanya. How long is a training program for educators? And uh, also, you have trained them in uh, all 18 cities, like you mentioned. We have done, uh, for the educators that participate in this project, uh, a initial uh, training of uh, two, two days. And after, I have uh, put a supervisor that uh, uh, follow the, the educators all the time, uh, in uh, stay in contact by telephone, by chat, and things like this, every month. After each meeting, they meet the supervisor and they discuss the result of the activity. And uh, uh, at uh, the middle of the project, we have done uh, a, a meeting uh, on Zoom with all the educators that participate in this project. And we have done another seminar in presence at the end of the project uh, to make uh, a, the conclusion and the to verify the, the, the project. Uh, we have done also a meeting with the rep one representative of the youngsters, with the youngsters and the adults with Down syndrome from each country, from each uh, city, one person with Down syndrome has participated at the end of the project in a moment uh, to discuss the result uh, to put together the feeling of this experience. Thanks a lot, Anna. Uh, another question from Denise is that uh, how do you assess the capacity first to give consent to a sexual relationship and the second to understand consent or lack of consent from the partner? Uh, obviously, you have to, to look this uh, person by person because it's different, obviously. I think that all the people with intellectual disability have the needs uh, to understand what is the body in which you can use and uh, to, to, make, to stay in contact with the other one. Not all the people can have the possibility and the ability to maintain a project of couple in the future, because obviously 
to make a life, a life of couple, you need uh, more competencies, also in, in autonomous. But uh, all the people have this uh, desire and possibility to understand more um, in the context with the other one. We discuss a lot with the youngsters, with the adults, about uh, uh, yes and no in the, rela the relation. Uh, also in the, in the activity about touching uh, and about pleasure, we discuss uh, uh, of all the gestures, what is the sense uh, if a person put uh, the hand over your hair or over your uh, breath uh, and what is the, the meaning uh, and uh, in which case is okay, in which case is not okay, in, in which way you can say yes and you can say no. We, we discuss a lot about this topic. Okay, thanks, Sana, for this explanation. A uh, question from Gillian. Are those wonderful resources going to be translated into many different languages? Anna, maybe uh, you could say how is it possible to translate this? Anna, uh, obviously, you, you can, if you find, uh, as uh, the Russian, as uh, Google, uh, if you find a publisher that are interested in translation, I can give you a contact of the editor of the publisher in Italy. And for example, in Russia, they have made an agreement and they have translated and published in Russia. In Spain, for example, was different because they have done an agreement with Down syndrome España. And the, uh, the publisher in Spagna was directly the association because they have done an agreement for a number of copies. In Spanish, the, the Spanish association has uh, uh, worked in, a tra in the translation and the Italian publisher has produced the book for Spain. And so there are two kinds of agreements or between publisher or between the association and the, the Italian publisher. Thank you very much, Anna. That is uh, something what uh, all our association, European Down Syndrome Association, could think how to make a translation and come to the publisher and arrange uh, uh, these possibilities. Because uh, it's, it's then, very, sorry, because it's very important also the, the part of the design. We discuss a lot with the, for the illustration, for to select the correct way to uh, to make visual to be clear in the book. So there is a problem of the text, but also of the drawing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you very much. That is always uh, very good for our person with uh, Down syndrome. Doesn't matter how many years they have, uh, it's a good to have a very good uh, picture and very clear for them. Uh, a question from the Carlo from Luxembourg is how do you motivate the people to participate? I guess uh, for youngsters, how to <laughs> it's how not to difficult motivate them. because they want to participate. <laughs> uh, we started the, the, the first uh, times uh, I started uh, to make the first course of sexual education 25 years ago, and uh, this started uh, by a group of uh, young adults uh, in uh, autonomy courses, uh, in which they say me we wanted to understand more or I wanted to have a, a, a friend, a friendship, or I wanted to, uh, to fall in love, uh, in which way I have to ask uh, this uh, to a lady. And so uh, we uh, have started to organize this, uh, starting from the question, from, from the request for, from the people we don't think of. But uh, uh, now we offer this service and we, um, obviously we, we speak directly with the people with Down syndrome and say in a very simple language, do you want to know what is friendship, what is love, uh, what means uh, making love, what, is, what means, in which way uh, the, the baby born, if you want to, to know this one, please come in this meeting. And another important thing is that this meeting are only with the uh, professional and the youngster. And in the beginning of each meeting, for example, I speak with the youngster and say, uh, all the things that uh, we speak about in this room, stay in this room. 
there is the privacy. I don't go to, to tell your things to other people. And so you are free to speak uh, of what you want. You can ask me all the things that you want. And so in this yes, they have asked me real a lot of things, uh, also different things uh, from the, the incredible things. Uh, once I remember I was uh, describing in which way the, the baby grew in the, in the mother. And uh, a person with Down syndrome say, please show me in which moment you can see that the, she is down, he is down. And so he wants to speak about these things. Mm -hmm. And we, we start with this one. Or in other times, for example, a lady said to me, OK, Anna, I understood. Uh, I find the correct person. Uh, I know him. Uh, I fall in love. I marry. And if in one day these people die, what I have to do? And so we have started to discuss about that. And so is it a topic that offers you the possibility to, to discuss of a lot of things with the young person and the adults? And I think that for people with Down syndrome, it's very important to have a moment and to have a space in which they can speak, they can be listened and they can receive information in a very, very simple way. We discuss uh, about a lot of things, about uh, sexuality, about uh, um, voting uh, in the election, uh, about uh, using uh, electronic way, uh, about the uh, job, because they need uh, this space. Thanks a lot, Anna. We have another question. It's from Nathaniel. Did you see an evaluation in the comportment of the people with Down syndrome uh, with this program? Uh, we don't have a, a statistic evaluation, but we have seen in this year a lot of couples growing. For example, the marriage of Marta and Mauro is a, a result. There are a, a, a number of couples that now uh, are growing and growing. For example, uh, we started with the movie of A Proposio Sentimenti 20 years ago with the first couples that were in Rome. In the last film, when we have uh, organized this vacation for couples, the, the people that have participated came from a lot of different places of Italy, also from a small center, small city. And uh, it means that the idea of this possibility is, uh, uh, is going uh, alone. Obviously, that for us, uh, this project is, uh, uh, is um, connected a lot uh, with our path for autonomy. Because obviously, if you don't give uh, to them the autonomy, the possibility to move, uh, to, to go out in the evening, uh, uh, to go to the house of your boyfriend or their friend uh, to meet uh, the couple don't grow. And so also the possibility to, to make a uh, different uh, story don't grow. Thanks, Anna. Thanks a lot. Uh, we have another question from Maida from Bosnia. Uh, have you done some education with parents to raise awareness among parents who can't accept that their child, uh, that about adult children, are sexual beings? Uh, obviously, we work uh, uh, in the same, we work in a parallel way with the parents. Mm -hmm. And so we discuss it. The topic is, is real connected with the um, recognition of the adulthood. The, the most important problem are connected with this one. If a parent look at their child always like a child, not like an adolescent and adult, it's impossible to speak about sexuality because they are worried. Mm -hmm. But if they start to accept the idea that they are young and adults, the things change. I remember a letter that one father wrote me 20 years ago in which they, he, uh, he told me uh, his experience uh, with the 
boyfriend of uh, of the, the daughters and this boyfriend that was a, a boy very educated uh, went to the father and say can i kiss your daughter and immediately he say no <laughs> and after thinks about this one and say no it's impossible because uh, it's the, the the life of her and now uh, she lives with the partner <laughs> Great. Uh, thanks, Anna. Uh, another question from the Coops Liliana is, uh, as a partner, without the help of an association, what can we do more to help our youngsters? The, uh, can you repeat? Like parents. I don't understand okay. uh, the parents. The Lian is parents. How uh, parents could help uh -huh. their youngsters without uh, association like example if association doesn't have okay. a program doesn't have something like you have an apd how we could help our uh, youngsters mm -hmm. i think that the one important thing uh, is uh, to give the correct information to explain in an easy way about the contents uh, for example about the body about the the way in which we use our body or we can use uh, our body Another aspect that the parents can do is uh, to give uh, always the motivation when uh, you uh, say or you suggest some behavior. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, if you say to your son uh, that uh, he cannot kiss all the people that meet in the street, for example, obviously at the same moment you have to teach that the kiss is very important, it means a kind of relation and uh, some things that you can do with uh, your friends, some, some things with your uh, boyfriend or girlfriend and things like this. I, I think that also in the family, obviously, you do some uh, uh, educational activity in knowledge and in behavior because are the two aspects very, very important. And uh, another aspect very important is to offer to the people the possibility to meet other, pe other peers. Because obviously, uh, if a, a person with Down syndrome uh, don't meet peers or meet peers only in uh, rehabilitation, for example, it's impossible that grow a relation. It's important to meet the people going uh, to the cinema or going uh, to, to eat a pizza. Because in, in this situation, you start to know the other one and to understand what you like and what you don't like of the other one. And it's important also to share uh, our experience with the youngster. Uh, in which way I have met your father, uh, what I like uh, to do together. Or for example, look together a movie and comment the movie. I suggest always these things. When you look at the, the television with your son and there is a, a romantic story, it's important to comment and to ask the opinion because it's another way to make sexual education. Thank you, Anna. We have one uh, French question. I will try uh, to translate uh, but uh, if I make something wrong please Nathaniel could you write ah oh, any question it is are there any special tools for people with the uh, ACD or on the autism spectrum uh, I don't have a special uh, a special instrument uh, obviously you can use a uh, lot the visual to explain something and uh, we use if you can uh, read our book uh, also the new book uh, for educator you can find that we have uh, prepared a lot of uh, concrete activity to explain something like uh, puzzle like uh, um, activity in which the people move and so they can express not only with the with speaking but also choosing and uh, doing some uh, some behavior. Uh, there is a lot of, of games that we have prepared also for this. Uh, thanks a lot. Uh, we have one question from Nico. I have a translation. Uh, 
from uh, Quora and from <clears throat> German. German comment may be, okay, sorry, from Nick, how can you feel that friendship changed into love? Or how do you notice when friendship becomes love? Ah, okay. When young people want uh, more than friendship. Well, um, it happens also between the people without disability that sometimes uh, friendship becomes love. Uh, and so uh, if it's a real love or is okay, you have own, own, only to give the correct name to the things, I suppose. The problem is uh, another one. Sometimes there are some people that are friends, not uh, falling in love. But uh, as the family are friends and they meet a lot of time and uh, overall in, uh, uh, in the age of uh, adolescence, the people in the beginning uh, want to be in love before uh, uh, being really in love. They started to say, okay, uh, he is my, my boyfriend or my girlfriend, but he's not real. In this case, we have to help the people to say if he's uh, really attracted from the other one or not. Okay, thanks, Anna. We have one comment from uh, Gillian. Uh, for the French speakers, uh, uh, people who are on this own meeting, uh, they wrote about one very good uh, film, and I put that film on the chat. Thanks a lot, uh, Gillian. Then we have uh, uh, Katia. I need help again to the translation from France, please. Could the interpreter help me? Okay, until we have a translation, I try to translate by Google. Hello, thank you for your presentation. Do you notice a difficulty for people concerning to meet or to meet new people also with disabilities? How do you support them? Do you advise them? And thank you. Is that something what Katia asked, please, our translator from, from French, help us? And this is the one of us. Hola. In, in our project for the autonomy, the people meet in a small group and we organize, for example, also small vacation of group of six, seven, eight people together in a very free way, like a group of friends that go away with two or three educators. And these are the opportunity. It's the problem that I say before. They need some opportunity to meet with pairs in, uh, in a way that is not a rehabilitation context or school context, but in another way. And so, for example, we have developed in this year a lot of projects in this sense. For example, we have organized a service that is named uh, uh, What Do You Do on Saturday Night? That is a, a service in which the people can call and an educator organizes a small group of people that, for example, go out for a pizza. And if they are uh, uh, autonomous, uh, uh, sometimes uh, the educator uh, arrive at the end of the evening to help them to come back to the house, sometimes spend the evening with them. And this is a service that uh, a lot of people to grow in the in the knowledge of the other people of the group. Or um, we have a, a, another project uh, that is the free time agency. That is a group uh, in which the people uh, organize a small group, organize uh, activity for the free time, not uh, uh, like a course, but like uh, uh, next week we go to the cinema, next week we go to buy new jeans, uh, uh, next week uh, we go uh, to the disco and things like this. And we have started in this project for the free time uh, to add to the afternoon activity, the evening activity, because the evening is the time of the adults. Uh, and the next question it is, uh, can you write again the title and the authors of the book about teaching about sexuality to adults with intellectual disability? How we can buy it? The Italian version, for example. 
uh, I'm Hello. trying to write this from your book is uh, Amici, yeah, from Hello. your flight. There are, there are two books. The, the book that I show uh, already published is Amicizia, Amore, Sesso, Parliamo Adesso. Is the, mm -hmm. the same title of our webinar in some way. Uh, but if you want, I, uh, no, I think it, that I can add the presentation and so you can see the, the cover uh, and you can buy also by internet on the website of Ericsson or other website, you can buy the book. Uh, in the yeah. same publisher, at the end of the year, there will be the other book for educators that have a similar name, Amore, Amicizia, Sesso, Note per Educatori, Love, Friendship, Sex, Note for the Educators. And uh, I think it will be by in December because it's publishing now. Yeah, thanks a lot. All the, all the movie you can find on the YouTube channel of I. Okay, one question from Melanie. Are there a, is there a support for families or those around them about uh, this uh, uh, theme to get what we talk to get? No, sorry, I, I don't understand exactly. Is, is there any support for families or those who are around, I guess, families and youngsters? But for, the, the... for the family of people we don't know, for the family of the the parents of people we don't see. I don't understand. Uh, that is in the French. I translated that uh, in the Google. Uh, it's uh, maybe <laughs> French translators could help us again. <laughs> no, because the family uh, receive a support from the association, obviously, and some the family, the parents of the people we don't see, no? or from the published services uh, for health and social services. If you speak about the couple, and so the new family uh, uh, built with a couple, for example, of people with Down syndrome, uh, the problem is uh, obviously that sometimes they need support. And so, uh, in some, generally in Italy, there is a law that uh, um, organizes some support from the adults that want to live outside of the house. It depends. Uh, from the different municipality, because in, in some city is more uh, strong the service in other no. But the, the, the couples that I know sometimes live alone with the support, for example, of educator, Martin Mauro, every one educator that two hours in the week go uh, in their house and help them in the organization they in the morning they go to the, to the job have uh, their activity of free time and things like this or sometimes if they need more help uh, they stay in a, a family group um, community small communities small residential houses in which they live uh, uh, with the support of some uh, uh, educator or assistant. Yeah. Okay, Anna. We have uh, okay some very nice uh, words from others, uh, but we have one uh, one comments also from Burkina Faso. Wow. <laughs> uh, Olivia, it's nice uh, that you are also on uh, this our webinar. Okay, if I again translate it from uh, French to English uh, via Google. He said, uh, thank you very much for broadcasting. Uh, it's a very interesting topic. My child uh, has a Down syndrome, but it's mm -hmm. not yet adult. It's a three years old and one month. Uh, in Burkina Faso, they don't have uh, so many support for children with Down syndrome. Uh, they would like to know everything about uh, our child. That's uh, why they are uh, today with us. And also the question uh, about their fertility concerns uh, me a lot. What you said, uh, Anna, you said that, that about fertility for the boys. Uh, I read some books, medical books from the United States, and they said they had uh, some some boys, even they are not fertile. That means that they could have a children. But uh, like you said, there are not so many studies about uh, that part, uh, no, especially it, for the boys. We have uh, worked with the Italian Society of Andrologists. 
uh, in this project and uh, uh, they have uh, done a review of the literature and there are only three studies in all the world three, three cases of people with yes. uh, down syndrome fertile and for this reason we start now with the italian study about this topic because it's very very important to uh, to profundize uh, there are more mm -hmm. studies uh, about the lady normally the, the lady with down syndrome uh, are fertile but they have a high risk to have a baby with difficulties, with disability, not only syndrome, Down syndrome. Okay. Uh, now we have uh, two, uh, two comments uh, from Stephanie. I hope I said very well. It's again French. Again, I'll try to help with my Google. I must be honest. Uh, I don't have any question, but remark the my last training is a training course carried out by two people, including the person with Down syndrome. I myself am trainer for this program. At, uh, and the presence of the person with Down syndrome is a very important element in the training. It's in two parts. And I don't know, Anna, did you get, uh, if I understand, Stephanie is a trainer mm -hmm. for this uh, kind of the training like you have. Uh, Stephanie, it's great if you are doing that. Just maybe write in which country you are doing that, but maybe our families could be involved uh, and uh, be on the training with our youngsters. But I, I uh, think that if Elsa uh, can uh, put on the website some resources that came from a different country, could be helped for, uh, for all. We, we can collect. Uh, bibliography from different country and uh, offer to the people that uh, uh, go to the website. Yes, I agree with you. We just, we have one question from the Slovenian. I would like just to answer from Marta Tush. Marta, thanks. Uh, just the minutes I will try to make the slow uh, translation uh -huh. okay the, the question from Marta Marta the this uh, uh, your question it's about where children with Down syndrome uh, have to go to school in which school today we are not talking about the school we are talking about uh, youngsters uh, with Down syndrome uh, about school, we had uh, uh, even, uh, I think, one or two uh, webinars, and I would like to propose that you go on our ETSA uh, channels, YouTube, and look uh, there, uh, that uh, program, and uh, where our kids with Down syndrome could uh, go in which schools, and what we propose that. Uh, Marta, go to the ETSA channel uh, on YouTube. If there will be any question about that part, Soriana, you could send a mail to the ETSA and we will uh, answer to you. Thanks, Marta. And if the question is, if the people that uh, say in our project came from uh, mainstream in school or special school, in Italy we don't have uh, special school. All the people go in the mainstream in school uh, since uh, 1975. Yes. But this is a question from Marta. I couldn't understand from Slovenia uh, why they. It's a question from Marta. But like I said, uh, it's it's okay. Go to look our website, uh, our uh, ETSA channel as well, and you will find uh, that we have uh, uh, even one or two uh, webinars until now about the school and integration of our children uh, in the school. Uh, then okay. Olivier, what can I do to get your contact, madam? Okay, um, Olivier, you could uh, send a mail to uh, ETSA. Uh, we have on the website, you could go there, or you could send uh, via uh, Facebook question and to have a contact with us. Thanks a lot. And then we have uh, another French, just a minute. Look, Anna. Okay. Ah, okay. They ask us what is our uh, 
French translators. Okay, they are, in, they are translating uh, as much as possible. Uh, okay, we have some uh, from Isabel. Uh, thanks a lot for the presentation. Uh, thanks uh, to you, Isabel, that you were with us. Uh, I'm just checking, do we have uh, some more comments? Okay, that's at the moment, I think, all. I'll just check once again. Did I show? Look to all. Yes. Anna, I think uh, that's all questions what we had. Okay. Yes, they are also, you, we have a Grazie Mille <laughs> as well. Molto interessante. <laughs> maybe, I didn't say maybe uh, well in Italian, but Anna will understand. Yes, Anna. Okay. Thanks a lot uh, to everybody who were today on our webinar. And uh, we are looking forward to see with you uh, next month again, uh, third Wednesday uh, in December, we'll be together. Please, in the meantime, look on our Facebook site. Uh, this, um, uh, our live, uh, what we have today, webinar is available there. And also in a few days, we will have uh, on our ETA channel as well, this webinar. Anna, once again, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot to our colleagues from uh, Down syndrome uh, from Turkey who help us in all technical items about uh, this webinar. Uh, have a nice uh, afternoon. Uh, take care and be in touch. See you soon on our next webinar. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye.